In this lesson, we're going to go over the structure of a basic HTML document. This structure will be the foundational building block of any HTML web page. We'll start off with a very simple page and add several elements to it as we progress through this section. Before we begin, you'll need to open Notepad++ if you're on, on a Windows machine or Text Wrangler if you're on a Mac. Once you have the text editor open, we'll need to open the file corresponding to this lesson from the downloads folder. So go to file, open, and open the file. With the file open, let's go over each element and the instructions they convey to the web browser. First of all, the document begins with the doc type HTML tag. This tag tells the browser that the markup of the language in which the page is written is HTML. Keep in mind that there are different types of HTML standards when it comes to coding your web page. Some HTML standards are, are quite strict and instruct the browser to follow a very strict set of rules when parsing and interpreting the code. An example of this is XHTML. The XHTML standard will check to make sure all your open HTML tags have corresponding closing tags. And you'll understand what that means in just a moment. There are many other compliance measures that make up the XHTML markup. It's not necessary to explore all of these because for the purpose of this course, we'll be using the HTML5 standard. This standard is more flexible in its compliance requirements among browsers and is also the most widely used. Previous versions of HTML, such as HTML4, are even more flexible but lack some of the new features inherent with HTML5. We'll learn about some of these new features as we progress through the course. Immediately after the doc type declaration comes the open HTML tag. The HTML tag is the building block for our page. Most other tags will be nested within the open HTML tag and the closing HTML tag. Keep in mind that an open tag must be closed to define the ending of the HTML page. Please note that when we work with other nested languages such as PHP, the PHP code can be inside or outside the HTML blocks. However, for now, all the tags we work with will be nested inside the HTML open tag and the close HTML tag.